Now, normally I wouldn't think a ton of this one. I mean, the boat could have just drifted over there, but according to this crew, it looks like somebody's in the boat. Hey, Broncos Guru, I'm sending this one to you. Boat-headed boaters of the week. Now, unfortunately for this crew, if there's somebody sitting in that boat, they Don't probably got Guru. quite a weight. Welcome back, crew, to this episode of Googans of the Week. Speaking of not waiting or not feeling like waiting in this case, our guy here decided instead of waiting for the pros to come tow him out, he was going to enlist this jet ski to give him a hand. But that did not go as planned when the jet skier decided to try and tow him under a bridge with the mast up. And unfortunately, as we can tell, the crew did make it through the bridge eventually, but the mast did not. Another guy who decided not to wait was this dude. Apparently, he didn't want to be behind this car anymore, decided to go around him. And this plane decided it wasn't going to wait on the boat either. Most people don't know this, but the boats actually have the right of way over planes on the water. But I'm the first one to tell you, never trust that because the last thing you want to happen is for you guys to have a close interaction. It's never fun for either party. Patience is definitely not a boating virtue. We see this all the time where people try and take shortcuts, but that doesn't always pay off. And what better way to end this subject on waiting than finding somebody who's not willing to wait out the sets. It's always difficult sometimes to try and make your timing when you're going offshore, especially when you're going out of the inlet. You never quite know exactly when you're gonna be able to make it and not. Right now, this crew looks good. They think they've nailed it, but this last wave's got something different in mind for them. Now the really good news in this situation is it could have been a lot worse. Fortunately here, everybody winds up okay. Everybody gets rescued without issue. But again, boaters and patients, we don't like to wait for things for some reason. Kind of like down at the boat ramp. How often do you go down there and wind up getting stuck waiting on somebody because they're not quite ready? Bunko Guru, guy here up an air to, uh, tube on a boat launch. Check that out. Bonehead boner of the week right there, man. That's a bonehead move. Look at that. If you're going to blow Holy up a paddleboard, a canoe, or anything down at the boat launch, do it on the side, then drag it into the water. Don't block a ramp. Thanks for watching, crew. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Googans of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like Captain Jeff Watkins, Cart Robbie, Captain Dago, Will Espinoza, Craig A. Sharp, Derek Walthoff, Donald Baldy and John Matthews did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.